Okay. Hey, what's going on, guys? Lethal Flux here, and today I'm bringing you Will's Control Aggro. Yes, both. Yep. Inject your deck profile. Very interesting, very fun to play against, yep. and very hard to play against. Yep. Very good deck. Uh, so, without any further ado, let's get into the deck profile. Alright, so the Insector Engine goes 3 Centipede, 3 Ladybug, 1 Dragon Blood, 1 Giga Menace, and a Hornet. Of course. No Dima out of the Wignery. <laughs> Um, I tag one Reaper because Insectors, they like to pop cards, and yeah. if I drop, drop this, they lose a card of their hand. So yeah. minus will get more plus, and if I draw this or have this in my hand, I could just sit on it until I get the cards I need. Yeah. Um, Dark Armed, because it's dead. <laughs> toy Guard, because I love Toy Guard. It's amazing because Centipede can be bottomless. I summon Toy Guide. Summon a Toy Guide, go into Levier. <laughs> yep. Get back to Centipede. Yep, get back to Centipede and go off. Now, before I get the control version of the deck out of the way, I'm gonna, like, tell you a story about what happened before I, before I started to use these cards in the deck. Um, I tried the Mystic Tomatoes before, it was terrible because Marmels we just pop it and Tomato is gonna dead. And Card Trapper, I don't like to mail Spine and Trap Cards to the graveyard because this deck is a control. So I am I thought that mailing hand traps that are good in the meta right now, I think that's the way to go. So I just run 2 Effect Baylor. This card is very very good against Mermaid because very there are a lot of Mermaid players who like the OTK using Diva using Diva's effect to summon Marksman and if Marksman attacks they will summon Dragoons to go for the OTK so you build the Diva and they cannot go for the OTK and they will weak Diva on the field yep. this is generally a good card against Mermaid as a warlock because you can just Baylor the Steers, Megalo and they cannot get a search yeah. Yep. And two Ch Chagoria goes, goes, OTK, under the OTK stopper. And max ease so that I can get into the hand traps. So that's what makes this like control these hand traps right here. These six traps. It's a lot of hand traps. Yes. yes. <laughs> I don't think this, I think this is the first time that I, I made this so, so many hand traps. And I love them. <laughs> Okay, now spells. Lances. Um, because, like I said, set up again, be bonus. Lances, F you. <laughs> um, two swords. Three Skoggy. You don't want to open or draw into it. If need be, you want to search it out with the centipede. Um, two duality. Constancy issues. So, those are the twos. Three Typhon again against good against Marmels because they like to do end phase spear a lot. And if, if you have well, assuming they're going first, they like to set a bit spear. And if they end phase a bit spear you, you can just drop this a bit spear just dies and fizzles, and no monster <laughs> will come out. Um, cycles. Staples, staples, staples. Of course. Staples. Well, all of darkness and polish, but it's not really staple. Polish burial is. There are times where I will open with the dragon pot or the centipede, but no, but no ladybug or a hornet in the hand. So I just drop this and go off. Yep. And all over is for the dropper, because yeah. everything here is dark. Well, nearly everything. Um, traps. Two call of the hornet. Three is cloggy. You don't want to draw this really early in the game. Um, two bottom, two bottomless. Really, really good card now. And triple T roar. Triple threatening roar. That's gotta be annoying for the yeah, opponent, huh? Yeah. This, okay, this card right here is what makes this card really, really broken because if you would send up a ladybug, you open, you open with those cards. You summon the centipede. You go it. Change its level to level 5. So it's your set this card, and you're ready to go off. Yeah. Say no to your opponent's battle phase. Yep, say no. <laughs> okay, so that's the main deck. 
side. Scoot it over. Uh, that's the gorgeous looking because I love Sakura. <laughs> um, Gachi. I hardly make this because uh, I feel like the Giga Brilliant is a better card than this. And but it's but it's just here just in case because you can make it with the two ladybugs. Yeah, it's there. <laughs> uh, that mean because it's greatest star card in the game. <laughs> Tem Tempo. Um. This card is good, good, good against Giles because, okay, what Mermaid of Abyss Giles does does is that by detaching one material, it negate it's a walking skill drain. So if I use Ten Tempos effect, they will lose all of their materials. So that you you are ready to ready to go off next turn if you open with open with like a dragon dragon blade Mantis Hornet. Yeah. In your hand. Um, Giga Brilliant helps with the OTK. Same with the button. Uh, Levier, this is just there, uh, just in case of Torgai, Torgai target. Actually, it is a good Torgai, Torgai target. <laughs> um, as I go on OTK, if I'm like all set and just wanted to go up, I make this. Took over the OTK. So, those are the rank 3, rank 4. Flagship. This is really, really strong card. When I, when I put Sodius, I'm like, Konami, why? <laughs> this is so good against against them means Gachi and Maestro they like to stall out. It's so good. <laughs> Cowboy, it's stu this code is so stupid. When it first came out, it was like about ten dollars. Now it's like in in thirty dollars. This car right here nearly runs over everything and if you're one of those guys who is cheap, you can bumper game. Yeah, I do that all the time. <laughs> uh, Maestro. It's really really good against Fire Fist because bear This guy just says no no to bear. <laughs> yeah. Um Fives? Crimson Shadow and Ninja. Of course. Once again this card is so good against Fire Fist and Marmels. It just stays there. It's broken in this deck too. Yeah. Really just, just ditch stuff. Yeah, Tyrus, Darko, <laughs> Mirror Force, Tarantula? Nah. Nah. Uh, Exo Stack? This guy is so derby. Okay, one time. I still a uh, red eyes darkness metal dragon. <laughs> so on you the gained field, fourteen on the field, and then what's broken is that you just overlay straight into this guy. <laughs> they lose a monster. I gain a monster. Yeah, and Vokasaurus. stupid. Of course, stupid. Alrighty, guys, yep. and that was Will's Insector deck profile. Like, comment, and subscribe for more videos. I do have his link in the description in one of my videos before the previous video. Uh, yeah, so like, comment, and subscribe for more deck profiles, duels, and other things. Peace out, guys.